Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> okay, hope you're all good this morning. So, today's going to be our full body session. You are going to need some weights, okay? So, just grab something around the house if you haven't got a pair of dumbbells. But if you've got your dumbbells, you're going to need those today. So, like we've done before, what we're going to do is set up the music, but I'll give you a demonstration of the first circuit that we're going to do, and then we'll set up that music afterwards, okay? So, as I'm going to give you the demonstration, just get yourself nice and warm. So, start jogging on the spot whilst I show you what we're going to do this morning. So, start jogging. So what we're going to do, we've got three different circuits, and we're going to do four exercises in each circuit. So what I'm just going to do is give you a demonstration of that first circuit, because we're never going to remember all three circuits, okay? So, exercise number one, what you're going to need to do is grab your dumbbells. So we are going to do, let's grab these ones. We're going to do a deadlift, so a Romanian deadlift. So as we deadlift, what we're going to do is stand feet shoulder width apart. Deadlift, we're hinging at the hips. It's going to be a Romanian deadlift. So we've got soft knees and they're not bent. And we're starting from our standing position, okay? We're not starting our deadlift from the floor. We've got our dumbbells, so we're going to do it standing and do our Romanian deadlift. So what I want you to do is hinge at the hips. All the way down, so as you bring your weight down, it should be skimming your legs, soft knees, and it should end about shin height. Okay. Obviously, I'm looking at the camera. What I want you guys to do is have that soft neck come up straight into our upright row. Okay, so we're doing that lower body with that upper body. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're going to do a hip hinge movement again because we're going to do a tricep extension variation. So what I want you guys to do is hinge at the hips. And as, can you see me? So I'm hinging at the hips. And what I want you to do is straighten that arm to get that tricep. So what we're going to do to mix it up, we're just going to do a continuous alternative arm tricep extension. That's exercise number two. Exercise number three that we're going to do is our oblique crunch with a shoulder press. So this is going to be a single single leg and single arm exercise, and then we're going to do it on the other side, okay? So what I want you guys to do is crunch and then press. So we're just going to do the same side. That's exercise number three. Exercise number four is the other side. So what I'll do is I'll just give the alternatives to the exercises as we go along. So don't worry if you feel like you're not going to be able to combine the two movements. I'll just regress them as we go. But that is the first circuit. So what we're going to do, okay, I'm just going to put my hair up and then we're going to go into sorting that music out. Hopefully you've been jogging on the spot, you're nice and warm, you're ready to go. Okay, so the link to the music is in the description. So hopefully by now, you guys know what to do. So what we're going to do is head over to our Spotify. <clears throat> the name of the playlist is Today's Date. Okay, so you should be on that one. So again, I'll just count us in and we'll do a three, two, one, play. So are we ready? We're going to start listening to the music at the same time. So, three, two, one, play. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is set my timer up, and then we're going to go in 10 seconds with that deadlift. So, get your two dumbbells ready, ready to go. So, we're going to do 30 seconds on. 30 seconds off, as many reps as we can, as possible. So get ready, guys. Let's go, let's go. All the way up. So we want to row that weight to shoulder height, straight into our Romanian deadlift. Bye. 
right. Okay, next. Tricep extension variation. Okay, so triceps, we're going to be working the back of the arm. So this is where I want you to be feeling this, okay, guys? So what I want you to do is keep that elbow glued so you can see my elbow isn't moving. Grab your weights. Get ready, let's hip hinge. As many reps as possible. Keep that elbow nice and glued. Halfway there. Keep those elbows glued. Rest. We're going to go in with that oblique crunch and that shoulder press. So option, if you want to, you take out the oblique crunch, you stand shoulder width apart, and you're just going to single arm press, okay? They're the two options. If you're going to bring in the oblique crunch, knee to elbow, so we should feel it right here. Let's go. Control as you bring yourself back down. Good job, let's go halfway there. Let's go, three more seconds. And rest. So we're gonna go in with that other side. Okay, knee to elbow, should be feeling it in your oblique. So this bit here of your abs, that's where I want you to get that crunch with that shoulder press. So then we're going to be working our shoulder. Are we ready? Get ready to grab your weights, guys. Let's go. That oblique crunch up, knee to elbow, foot back down into our shoulder press. Bring that weight all the way back down to shoulder height. Three more seconds here. And rest. So what we're going to do is repeat that circuit two more times. We're going to go in with that Romanian deadlift into our upright row. So when we bring the weight up, we're going to be bringing the weight to shoulder height, okay? Rowing it up. Okay, three seconds, guys. Grab that weight. Let's go. Nice and controlled as you bring that weight down your thigh. It should be skimming that thigh. Pushing those hips back behind you. So imagine pushing that bum to that wall, okay? We've only got a slight bend in our knee. Two more seconds. Tricep extension. So we're doing that bent over variation okay well we're doing alternative arm continuously if you need to slow it down so you can feel it in your tricep more then just slow it down so take it to the speed that's right for you okay get ready to grab that weight pins at the hips so keep those elbows nice and glued they're not moving it's happening it's your forearm that's moving okay Just imagine you've got that broomstick behind you, so you've got that nice flat back, okay? 
We're not curving our back, we're not arching our back. Got that nice straight line. Oh. That oblique crunch into our shoulder press. That's the next exercise. So just get your weight ready. Go. Option if you want to, you're just doing your standing shoulder press and you're taking that oblique crunch out. Good job. Let's go. Thirty seconds rest. Then we're going to go in with that opposite side. So elbow to knee. We're doing that oblique crunch, shoulder pressing, pressing that weight, driving it up towards the ceiling. Okay. Then we're going to bring that weight all the way back down to shoulder height. So we get that full range of motion. We're not doing a half rep, okay? We're coming all the way back down. Grab that weight. Let's get ready to go. We've got three seconds. Let's get ready. Bring that weight all the way back down to shoulder height. Back crunching. Good job, let's go. Over halfway there. One more. That's circuit number two done. So we're going to go in with circuit number three. So straight in with that. Romanian deadlift. You're hinging at the hips. So we're not squatting down. We're pushing our hips back. My bum is going towards that wall. Okay, as I do that, I'm skimming that weight down my side and then into my upright row. Let's go, let's get ready. Three seconds, hinge at the hips, skim that weight down to mid shin, back up into your upright row. Option, you're just going to do your upright row or you're going to practice your hip hinge and do the deadlift. Okay. Seconds here. We're going to go in with that tricep. So, again, we're doing that hip hinge movement. We're pushing our bum. So, keep your back nice and straight. Bring your shoulders back and down, okay? What we don't want to do is have our weights up like this. We don't want to shrug. We don't want to activate our traps, okay? We want it to be our tricep that's doing the work. So just take that time to reset. Hinge at the hips. Let's go. Keep those elbows nice and straight. They're not coming. We're not swinging like this. They're glued. So you should be doing the extension and flexion at your elbow. So it's going to bend and then straighten up. Good job, guys. So what we've got left is that oblique crunch with the shoulder press on each side. And then we're going to go on to our different circuit, okay? Good job, good job. Okay, we've got about five seconds to grab your weight. You're either going to do your shoulder press or you're going to do the oblique crunch with the shoulder press. Let's go. So you should be feeling this. When you crunch, you should be feeling it in your oblique, so where I'm touching here. And then your shoulder press, you should be feeling it in your shoulder, nice and controlled. Bring that weight back down. Three seconds. 
seconds. Let's get one more out. So we're going to go in with the left side. Good job, guys. Are we ready? Grab that weight. So you want it on the other side now. We're going to do the opposite arm, opposite oblique crunch. Let's go. Drive that weight up towards the ceiling. Back to feet, shoulder width apart. You're going to get that oblique crunch. Let's go. Halfway there. Three more seconds. Okay, guys, take that rest. What's going to happen now is I'm going to give you a demonstration of the next circuit. So as we've done before, we've got just a new set of four different exercises, okay? So, just pause my timer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into... A reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So your options here, if you're going to regress the exercise, you're going to either do your body weight, reverse lunge, okay, and not do the bicep curl. That's one option. If you are, what we're going to do is grab two weights. I want you to come towards your mat because we're going to step back, okay? So feet are going to be shoulder width apart. I'm going to step back with one leg, so I've got that 90 degree angle at my knee, my shin is vertical, okay? So nice step back, step forward, in with a bicep curl. Then we're gonna go back with the opposite leg, in with our bicep curl. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two that I want us to do is a press up into a back extension, so, Press up position, so we're going to get into kind of our full plank. What I'm going to do is a back extension first, so I'll show you that, and then we're going to go into our press up. Option if you're going to regress this one, you're just going to do your knee and in press ups, okay? Or if you can do a full press up, but you don't want to do the back extension, you're going to do your full press up, okay? So whatever one's right for you, you take whatever option, okay? So. What I'm going to do is come into my back extension. So my hands are by my, by my ears. I'm going to pull and retract and pull myself up. Get that contraction in my back so I can feel that squeeze. Bring my hand to my chest level, to the side of my chest as well, okay? So about a hand's width to the side of my chest into my press-up position. So with our pressure, what I want us to try to do is maintain that nice straight line from our feet, my knee, my hip to my shoulder. What's not happening is my body's not going to dip and come up in different, different kind of segments, okay? So we just want to work on that nice straight line as we come up and bring ourselves back down. So if that means you're going to drop to your knee to keep that nice straight line, that's fine. Because what I want us to do is just practice having that nice straight back, okay? So... Otherwise, if we start arching our back as we come up, we're just going to be more prone to an injury. So just make sure that back's nice and straight as you bring yourself up and then lower yourself back down. Exercise number three, what we're going to do is stay on the floor, but we're going to do our glute bridge with an abduction, okay? So glute bridge position, we're going to be laying on our back. I'm going to bring my feet towards my bum. And what I want is a vertical shin, okay? So if my shins aren't vertical, my feet's probably too far away. They could potentially be a bit too close, but if they're not vertical, it's likely that they're a bit further away than what they should be. So bring your feet close to your bum, drive that weight up towards the ceiling. So what we've got here is a nice straight line from my knee, my hip, my shoulder, and I'm using my glutes, I'm using that bum to contract and pull myself up and drive that weight towards the ceiling. We're going to add in an abduction. So we're going to bring our knees out, keep our glutes 
squeeze, keep that glute up and then back. Options you're going to, you're going to do it without the weight. Exercise number four, what we're going to do is grab two weights, okay? And we're going to go into a squat. Shoulder press, okay? They are four exercises. So, get yourselves ready. We're going to go into that reverse lunge in about five seconds. Okay, let's go. So alternate legs. I'm gonna hit my sofa. Bicep curl up, keep that elbow nice and glued. Okay, when you do that bicep curl, what we're not doing is using that swing of our shoulder. Remember your option here, you can do your body weight reverse lunge. If you don't want to lunge, you can do your bicep curls. So we're going to go in with that press up to back extension, okay? So we're going to come down to the floor. We're going to start with that back extension. If you're not going to do your back extension, you're going to do your full press up or your kneeling press up. But just remember, we want that nice straight line as we come down and then back up, okay? Let's get down to the floor. So back extension, squeeze into your press up. Nice straight line throughout your body. Good job, guys. We're going to go in with that glute bridge. So grab your weight that you're going to use, and then we're going to go in with our glute bridge, okay? <clears throat> Good job. So glute bridge, what I want you to do is really squeeze that bum, drive your hips towards that ceiling. Let's go. Reduction to bring your knees out and then back into your glute bridge back on the floor and then repeat. So as you abduct, what I want you to do is keep pushing and squeezing those glutes, push those hips towards that ceiling, just try to make sure that they're not dropping. Okay, the next exercise is that squat with that shoulder press. <sighs> Grab your weight. Oh, absolutely way too heavy. Let's go. So squat down into our shoulder press. Just make sure you've not got a light. So with our squat, what you guys to think about is that your knees are in line with those toes. They're not coming in, okay? When we squat, we're just gonna get bad knees if we do that. So knees in line with our toes. Rest. We're going to go in with that reverse lunge with our bicep curl. So option, you're going to do your bicep curl, or you're going to do your lunge, or you're going to do both. Okay? Good job. <clears throat> Get those weights ready. We need two weights for this one. glued to our body our arms aren't swinging we've got no rotation in our shoulders okay it's just our biceps so the front of the arm that's doing the work
So remember, we're going to go in with that back extension. Your hands are in this position. We're going to pull our body away from the floor. And then into that press up. Down to the floor, guys. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. We're over halfway there. Ah, rest. We're going to go in with that glute bridge. So just grab that weight. Grab a drink if you need to. We're going to come back down to the floor. Grab your weights, guys. Let's go. Let's get ready to come down. Let's go. Drive that weight up. Abduction. And then back up. Option. You can just do your body weight here. You can take up that abduction. Three more seconds. Oh. Good job, guys. We're going to go in that squat to shoulder press. Then that's the two rounds that we've done. We're going to go in with that again before we move on to the last circuit. Go, let's go. So we're going to squat down. Keep that chest nice and upright. So what we're not doing is coming forward when we squat. We're keeping that chest up. Pushing back. So push your glutes back. Bend at the knees. That's circuit number two done. So we're going to go in with that circuit again. And then we've just got one more circuit to go of our full body day. Good job, guys. So, let's get ready to go into that reverse lunge. You're going to want your two weights. We're going to go in two seconds. Reverse lunge back into that bicep curl. So keep that knee in line with that toe in that lunge, okay? Just make sure that knee isn't coming in like that. Good job. Whew. Back extension with that press up. So we're doing that. Back extension, we're working our back, okay, all those muscles here. Then we're going to go into that press up. So we start working on our chest, our triceps get a bit of work as well. Let's go. Come down to the floor. Let's go. Back extension. Option if you need to. You're doing your press up on the knee. You're taking out that back extension. We're 
we're going to go in with that glute bridge. Okay, guys, so just grab that one weight and then we're going to come down to the floor. Glute bridge. We're working our glutes, so working our bum. So what I want you to do is really squeeze that bum, drive those hips towards the ceiling, but keep that bum nice and contracted, okay? That's what we want to work. Come down to the floor. Let's go. Drive that weight up. Add in the abduction if you're going to, and then back down. Just make sure your bum doesn't dip, okay, as you get tired. We tend to not then get that full range of motion. So what I want you to do is just focus that you've got that nice straight line from your hip, your shoulder, and your knee, okay? Oh. Okay, last exercise of this circuit. That is our squat to shoulder press. So as we squat, we're pushing our bum's back, but we've got that bend in the knee, okay? Find the position that's right for you. If that's going to be feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart and your nose, your nose, your toes pointed out, then that's the position for you, okay? It might be a bit more narrower. Bring that weight all the way down to shoulder height. Keep that chest up as you squat. So we're not leaning forward. Whew. Okay. Good job, guys. You're going to take your rest now, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the last circuit. So we've got four more exercises that we're going to do. And then we are done for the day, okay? So, pause my timer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come into, a quick drink. Exercise number one is our half burpee into a front raise. So, got weights we're not coming all the way down into our full burpee okay so what we're going to do okay so I've got two weights what I'm going to do is put my palm you can, you can probably see you can see the weight there okay so the two weights are there I'm going to come into my half burpee so kind of like your full plank but what I'm going to do is have my hands on those weights okay so, option, you're jumping into that full burpee. So if you're doing that explosive movement, that's what you're going to do, okay? Option number two, if you don't want to do your jump, you're stepping that burpee out, okay? And then we're going to come up to our front raise, back into that half burpee, Okay, that's exercise number one. So if you're not doing the jump, you're just stepping your burpee out back into the front raise, okay? Exercise number two, what we're going to do is come into a plank position. We're not going to have any weight to this one, okay? We're going to hold our full plank. So full plank, what I'm going to do is come down to the floor. My hands are stacked underneath my shoulders, so always I've got that nice straight line from my shoulder, my elbow to my wrist, okay? That's where I want your hand position to be, in our full plank. Option, you're going to come up onto your toes, or you're going to stay on your knees, okay? What I want you guys to do, and I keep saying it, is just imagine that straight line. So you've got that straight line from your shoulder, your hips to your feet. If, it's, if you're doing a half plank, yours is going to be your shoulder, your hips, your knee. We've always got that nice straight line. So from whatever position you are, it doesn't matter, okay? You're just going to focus on that straight line and keeping that core nice and tight. So what you might, what you might need to do is just rotate your pelvis. Okay, you might need to tuck it. Get that nice straight line. Then we're just going to lateral reach our hands out. 
that's the full plank option. If you're gonna go onto your knees, you're still gonna do the reach. So what we're doing is just reaching off palms of our hands to the side of us, okay? So we're building that upper body strength because we're taking that hand of support away. So at one point in that exercise, we're holding ourselves with our hands or and our feet, okay? So we've got one hand. That's exercise number two. Exercise number three, we're gonna to start to bring in our core again, and we're gonna do an oblique twist. So, a couple of options here. You can have your weight, you can take the weight away. What we're gonna do is come down to the floor. So, and if you're using your weight, so like a Russian twist, you can have your feet down, okay? Option number two, you can bring your feet up away if you haven't got that support. Option number three, you can start to bring in a leg extension, okay? And then start to make it one fluid move, like movement. Oh, exercise number four. What I'm gonna get you guys to do is hold your dumbbell Where's my, what one is this? This is my five. Oh, grab your two dumbbells, okay? Into our front squat position. So we're gonna hold them. We're gonna come into our squat again, front squat, okay? And then we're gonna come into that deadlift. So option, you can just do your front squat. We've already done a deadlift, but you can do your Romanian deadlift. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Grab yourself a drink. We're going to go in with that half burp and front raise first. We're going to repeat the circuit three times, and then we're done, okay? So, grab yourself a drink. Get my timer. Up and ready. So, half thirty, okay? Into that front raise. Let's go. Option if you need to. Stretching your burpee out. Nice and controlled. Three more seconds. Rest. Oh. We're gonna go into that plank with the lateral reach, okay? So get rid of those weights. Good job. Option, if you're gonna, you're gonna come down to your knees, do your half plank. Try to get that reach in, lateral reach to the side if you can. It's come down to the floor. Oh. Oh, let's go. Three more seconds. That's tough. It always seems that I get like a stress in my forearm. Whew. Good job. Okay, guys, we're going to come into that oblique twist. Add that extension of the leg if you're going to. Or you're going to stand do your Russian twist. You can do body weight. Let's come down. Really twist that core. 
to get that rotation. Keep that core nice and tight, okay? So, exercise number four is our front squat into that deadlift. <laughs> Are we ready, guys? After this, we've got two more rounds to go, and then we are done. Grab those weights. Let's squat down. So, squat into that deadlift. Option, you're just going to do your front squat. Take out that deadlift. So, we're doing a squatting movement pattern into a hip hinge, okay? Keep that back nice and straight as you do your deadlift. And then keep that torso nice and upright with your squat. Half belty into that front raise. That's our next exercise. So second circuit we're just about to do, okay? So we're nearly there. Good job. Grab those weights. Get that burpee out if you need to. Into that front raise. Weight is going to go to shoulder height. Working our anterior deltoid to work in that front of the shoulder. Nice and control. Bring that weight up. Control it back down. Into that half burpee. Let's go, let's go. One more. Whew. Good job, guys. Get rid of those weights. We're going to go in to that plank with that lateral reach, okay? If my forearm lets me do it. Let's go. Get yourself down to that mat. It's that full plank position, kneeling plank position, whatever one you're gonna do. And then you're laterally bringing that hand out to the side. So what we're doing is you've got that nice strong core. There's no rotation in that core, okay? When we bring that hand out, we're not rotating. We're going to go in with that oblique twist, okay? So, obviously, you're going to have your dumbbell. We're going to start twisting our core. Start to work our obliques. Option if you need to. If you need that bit of support, you're going to bring your feet down to the mat. But if you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to bring our feet up. Let's go. Add in that extension of the leg if you can. If not, keep your feet up if you need to. You're going to bring your feet down. Nice and controlled. <laughs> Front squat. Into that. Deadlift. 30, well, 15 seconds rest, okay? Grab a drink if you need to. After this exercise, guys, we're on the last circuit. So, let's make it count. Grab our weights, get ready. We're gonna come into that front squat position, hold our weights up to our shoulders, into that deadlift. If that's too much, you're gonna keep with your front squat.
Good job, let's go. Okay, we've got one more circuit to go. We're just going to repeat that. So we've literally got four exercises left. Really, we've got two minutes worth of work. That is it. And then we're done. Okay, guys. So we're going to go in with that half burpee to front raise. You're stepping your burpee out if you're not doing that explosive jump, okay? And you just take it at the time that you need to. Bring that weight up to shoulder height. Bring that weight up, back down into that half burpee. Keep that bum nice and low. Get that full extension. Bring those legs back. Okay, rest, grab a drink, and then we're going to go into that plank option if you're going to add that lateral reach. Alrighty, guys, come down to the floor, get into that plank position. Let's go. Keep that core nice and tight. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Good job, guys. We're going to stay on the floor. Grab that weight for that oblique twist. So remember, you've got all your options. You can do your body weight. You can bring your feet down. You can bring your feet up. You can add in that leg extension. So whatever's right for you, grab that weight. Let's get ready to go. Let's go. Second to last exercise. Really get that twist in that core. Bringing those obliques, side of the abs. Starting every day. Waiting on the weekend. Oh! <laughs> okay, last exercise. We're not resting yet. We've got our 30 seconds. We've got our 20 seconds left. That front squat is deadlift. Let's go, let's get ready. Get together, we wanna know that way. Bring those weights up. Let's go. Squat. She says you have a beat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's make this one count. See how low you can get with your squat. Knees are in line with those toes. Your knees aren't caving in as you squat down. Hinge on the hips. You're going to do your deadlift. Push those bum towards the wall. Whew. You're done. Okay. We're just going to do a quad stretch here. Bring your heel to your bum. Get your balance if you can. Put your arm out if you need to. <clears throat> Good job, okay? Pull that heel towards that bum. You should feel that hip flexor open. And you should feel it in your quad, okay? Front of the leg. Other leg. You may need to actually do some more stretching after this if you need to. We're just gonna do a little bit of stretching. Going to our hamstring stretch. My time is still good. 
So, take a split stance, hinge at the hips, and I want you to put your weight onto that bent leg, and you should feel that pull in your hamstring of the straight leg, okay? That's where you should be feeling it. If you can, you're going to dig a little deeper, intensify that stretch, then we're going to switch legs. So you should feel that stretch all the way in your hamstring. We're just going to do our tricep, okay? Do a nice upper body stretch. Bring that hand behind you and start using the opposite hand to pull at that elbow to intensify that stretch. Whew. Good job, guys. Okay, so that was our full body workout today for Friday. Good job. So, Monday, we're going to be back. I'll be posting the timetable on Instagram of what we're going to do. So, check that one out. And I will see you guys on Monday morning. Ready to go. Good job today, guys.